Hey, good morning. Uh, well, we are uh, uh, got another big challenge ahead of us this week. Um, you know, really having a few days to uh, dive into Florida State. Um, they're still Florida State. I know uh, their record is is uh, four and three right now, but um, they kind of got off to a slow start. Um, new coach, new systems, uh, new new everything. And uh, you know, I think it took them a couple games to kind of figure out a little bit maybe who they are and, and get in stride a little bit. But really, should probably have won the last four in a row. Uh, but uh, they're three and one in their last four games, and uh, and really starting to play some good football um, offensively. Uh, Francois, a, he's a very good player. Uh, they've got great skill, great skill uh, outside. Uh, two great running backs in uh, Akers and Patrick. Uh, Patrick's like 235, uh, but really good players. Uh, Francois is a, is a good thrower. He's mobile. Um, they, I think, have figured some things out up front in the offensive line as far as getting guys in the right place. Uh, I think that was an area for them early that they were trying to, to figure out. And uh, uh, really good tight end. Uh, they got a freshman receiver that I think is going to be a really special player, Terry. A 6'4 guy, looks, looks a lot like Justin Ross. Uh, and uh, so just, you know, they're, they're typical Florida State. Uh, definitely the best ends we've seen this defensive line they got. Really, really good. 99 leads the nation in sacks. Uh, he's long, uh, fast, twitchy. Uh, they've got... Really good depth at defensive end and defensive tackle, and they play them. Uh, big, thick, physical, strong guys inside, fast and athletic at linebacker, and uh, really good in the secondary. Very skilled, very talented. Uh, they're one of the best in the country against the run. I think they're, I think they're like sixth maybe in the country uh, versus the rush. So uh, again, their, their record is not same old Florida State uh, at right now. But their talent is, and uh, you know, we—I know this is my tenth year as the head coach, and I think uh, I think I'm one and nine against them in uh, recruiting rankings. So uh, I think the only time we've ever out so-called recruited them is last year, and uh, so uh, that's it. They got a bunch of cats. They got a bunch of good football players on that roster, and again, really starting to hit their stride. Uh, Left-footed punter. Uh, who's a good player, uh, dangerous, dangerous returners. That little number 29 who plays the slot for them is also their punt returner. And, I mean, he, is, he takes a lot of chances. Uh, he's one of the best, uh, you know, out there, really good player. So, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a dangerous football team that I think is kind of figuring out their identity uh, and kind of buying into what Willie's trying to get them to do. And uh, so we're going to have a huge challenge for sure. Uh, that's there's no doubt. But for us, it's kind of same old, same old uh, every week. Biggest game of the year. Uh, this is another game for us within our division uh, that gives us a huge opportunity to try to stay in control of the division. That's really what it comes down to, and uh, and not put yourself at the mercy of something else happening. And uh, so that's the focus of our team is just having another great week of preparation trying to build on the momentum uh, that we've created. Uh, I think we've got a lot of confidence right now. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we, we've got a lot of improving to do. Uh, there's so much that we can continue to do better. Uh, but I like the progress that I've seen. I like where we are. Uh, I think we're a team kind of like Florida State that's kind of figuring some things out as far as who we are and who can do what as we've moved through the first half of the season, too. So. Uh, Excited about it. Uh, it's always a, uh, a a great place to go play a ball game, and uh, you know it's it's a place we haven't had a ton of success at. So uh, again, got a lot of respect for um, uh, th their program, uh, the place we're going to be playing, and uh, and certainly their players. Very very talented uh, across the board. Coach um, Willie Tagger came to visit here, watch practice. I think it was the spring before last. Uh, what was it like getting to know him a little bit? Uh, it was good. That's the first time I'd met him. Uh, did not know him at all, really. I mean, I knew who he was, but I had never been around him or met him. Uh, certainly had a good reputation. Uh, had done a great job at Western Kentucky and then on down there to uh, South Florida. And, you know, if you look at what he did at those programs, I mean, he, he, he kind of built them 
and uh, and got them going. Uh, I don't know that he had great starts at either place, but he built them and and got it going, uh, which is probably why he got the Oregon job. So it was right before uh, his first season out there when he came through here, and then and then obviously I've had a chance to be around him a couple more times through our ACC meetings, but. Uh, I think he'll do a great job. I think he's a good fit and a uh, good man. Do you see any influence from those conversations when you turn on the tape and, and things you guys maybe talked about that he's incorporated into his scheme offensively, defensively? Uh, not not really schematically. Uh, you know, I think that uh, they're very committed to who they are. I don't, I don't think that um, – I think his visit here was just a little bit more kind of program, program type stuff. Uh, I think schematically they're very – Convicted in what they do, uh, and uh, and we're very different. I mean, very very different in what we do uh, offensively. There's a few things that, that are, are similar, but uh, uh, different uh, more than similar. Can you kind of uh, with Willie changing out, bringing in a whole new offensive philosophy, and that that change happening with the dynamic of the the previous team being recruited for Jimbo's uh, yeah. style of offense? Can you? Elaborate on how hard that is to come in year one and make that happen. Yeah, I, I, well, it's, I think it's hard, and I think that that's probably speaks to what happened in their first few games. Uh, just trying to, you know, kind of everybody trying to figure it out. You know, it's one thing to go out there and have spring practice; it's another thing to, to go play. I mean, because they 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 want to be tempo, kind of like Syracuse. I mean, really fast tempo, a lot of snaps, a million screens, uh, zone read, a little bit of counter. Uh, some jet sweep stuff, uh, multiple formations, a lot of bunch sets, and really, really wide splits. Uh, so they, they and then play fast and try to create space and one on ones. Um, but uh, I think, and obviously that's very different from from who they were. Um, so I just think it's you know taking them uh, a little time to kind of hit their stride. And uh, you know the Virginia Tech game kind of got away from them early. Uh, Sanford came in there with a <laughs> they came in there with a uh, a hot quarterback and a heck of a plan. I don't know what Sanford's record is, but I'll tell you what, I I, I was I was impressed watching that bunch. That quarterback that they got at Sanford is a is a baller. Uh, he's a good player, but they kind of hit some big plays on them and and uh, but you know Florida State ends up winning the game and uh, they just kind of. You know, found their stride. Syracuse, uh, uh, you know, just just got to their quarterback, and uh, that was that was the biggest issue in that game. And but I think the same thing. Just those first few games, they just I think coaches and probably the players, everybody kind of figuring out, um, you know, who can do what and and uh, exactly what their identity was going to be. But but they really they really settled in. Uh, and again, we're right there in position to win the Miami game. Uh, led most of the game, so uh, just uh, a, a team that is three and one in their last four, and and that's really all that matters is is this game. Records don't matter. If records matter, then Purdue doesn't beat seven and zero Ohio State, right? Uh, records don't matter. Uh, you got to play the game. You know, I mean, heck, we, we, we lost to Syracuse last year, and they, they won three games, and uh, we were undefeated. So that that stuff, might, that doesn't have anything to do with the game that you're getting ready to play. Uh, that's why you 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 have to prepare and, and respect every opponent and understand. And, I mean, again, as I just said, if, if you don't think they got talent, then you're not paying attention. Uh, that's a bad, bad assumption. Uh, so... If the recruiting rankings mean anything, we're one and nine against them in my ten years. So um, they got plenty of talent. If you were in the was saying, Sorry, that? Christian was saying yesterday, this is the most fun he's had. Just what have you seen from him, both on the field and his personality and that kind of stuff? Uh, I just think you know he made a decision to come back, and he's been so intentional in everything. I just think he has truly enjoyed the entire journey, all of it. Matt drills. Uh, I mean, he had fun in Matt drills. I just think he's been so committed to what he came back to do. He loves his teammates. Uh, you know, you, you don't make a decision. I mean, the guy graduated last December, so you don't make a decision like that unless you really, really love where you are and who you're with and what you do and all that stuff. So I just think that he he knows that this is it. And uh, and he last year this time he was torn, you know, and it was, I think, heavy on him. 
Uh, whereas now he knows this is it. And I just think he has really gone about it in a way uh, where he's just enjoyed all. I mean, you go back to spring game. I mean, he's playing safety, just having a ball. You know, he has just had a blast. Uh, he's an unbelievable teammate. He's one of the best leaders I've ever been around. Um, and just, just a dynamic personality, but a great football player. And his, and his just, he's taking, he's taking such great care of his body. Uh, we've been able to play a lot of guys. I think our guys are, are pretty healthy right now and fresh. I think that's a, a real key for us down the stretch, uh, especially guys like Christian. Uh, you know, how they feel right now at this point in the season. Um, but he's just, uh, he's just enjoyed it all. I mean, just, you know, homecoming last Wednesday, going out and we we're handing pizzas out at the floats. And, I mean, he just, he just, I think, loves the whole college experience and is just trying to really uh, finish strong. Uh, he, he takes a lot of pride in, in uh, his role as a leader. And uh, he'll show up today, and he'll be excited for Tuesday practice because that's just that's just who he is and how he's wired. What about his play on the field and so forth? It's been awesome. I mean, he's he's been great, disruptive, consistent. Uh, uh, just uh, he's he's been a leader out there. Uh, he's been he's been great. To turn the tables a little bit, if you're an opposing coach and you're playing Clemson this week and you turn on the tape and we're telling us. Describing Clemson a couple senses on offense and defense, how would you describe? Uh, talented, play hard, uh, team that, that uh, finds different ways to win, um, and uh, you know a group that looks like they have fun playing the game and 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 they have and they like each other, uh, good, a team with good chemistry. That's what I would see. That's what I see when I watch us. Coach, you touched on it. Christian um, told us yesterday this is the best he's felt physically. Uh, at this time of the year, uh, Dexter, of course, was playing hurt last year. How, how important has been the depth um, on the defensive line? Guys like Huggins and Pinkney, you've got um, Jordan Williams back yep. now. How important is that for this uh, second half of the season? Oh, it's huge. I mean, we, we've got a lot of guys that we really believe in and, and guys that, you know, can go win the game for us. Uh, so we're, we're very confident, and uh, it's big. I think our depth is – it will will prove very beneficial for us, and and then some guys like like situation with Chase for him to be able to get the experience that he's gotten now, especially the last three games, uh, he's had a chance to to play and and do some good things, and his confidence is 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 really high. Uh, so I just think we're in a good place. What all the backs have been able to do, everybody's kind of had their moments, and um, you know it's what we've been able to do at receiver, and the, the, we had a lot of guys that have taken another step at receiver, and then you throw in Justin Ross as well. Uh, it's exciting. It's an exciting group, emergence of DK. And, uh, you know, I think what we've done in special teams uh, has really been good. But the depth up front in that D-line uh, has allowed us to keep, you know, Christian and Clee and Austin and Dexter uh, really fresh. And when those guys are fresh and, and, and healthy going into game eight, uh, that, that's that's a good that's a good thing for the Tigers. Coach Scott, 